Oh, welcome back. We've got our scrim tape. Ceiling's been overboarded. Let's get it skimmed. Roll the intro. So we've got all the ceiling overboarded. Uh, it's a simple process. Find out where your beams are. I mean, this is all this is all old lath and plaster. But so there's, I mean, there's a ton of nails in the old lath and plaster. So you can put a magnet in there and find out where your uh, joists are with these ones. Or you know, you can work it out. You can drill a couple of holes. Then they're usually like 16 inch centers to each joist. So once you find out where they go, you just cut your board. So like down the middle there, they overlap on a beam. Cut your board to the middle of those lengths and that's the easy bit. But now we've got a scrim tape, which is just like a little plastic mesh, if you can see that. And uh, that just goes between all our joins now to stop it from cracking. Hey now, honey, I've been driving around in my car Looking for some kind of open bar It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Got no money, but I'll work it out with my charm Having a good time and doing no harm It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Hey now, honey, I've been driving around in my car Looking for some kind of open bar It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Got no money, but I'll work it out with my charm Having a good time and doing no harm Gonna be all right, gonna be all right. All right, that is all now screwing down the lines. I will just remove that light fitting cover and just let it hang down while I do the, um, put some screw over there and skim that as well. Now going over this board, there's no need to put um, your PVA mixture on there. Going on board is fine. If you was doing everything board, then you could just use, um, the board finish, uh, the Fissile board finish plaster. But as we're going over bonding coat, previously plaster walls and board, we're gonna use a multi-finish. Um, I pretty much use a multi-finish for most stuff anyway, because it's never, it's never really just one thing you're doing. There's always bits and pieces, so. Multi-finish all the time for me. So, we'll just get that light fitting um, lowered, undone and lowered, and we'll, uh, Let's go and mix up some skim, some multi finish. <clears throat> Blaster. Water. Right, we're going to start off with doing our ceiling. We do still need to do some other bits of bonding coat on the wall just to level it all off. But this will give the this will give time for the for the ceiling to set. So then when we do our walls. We can get nice edges all around the ceiling. So we've just got our masonry brush. Just gonna wet our tools down now. And then just wet down your hawk as well. Dampen it down. And again on the back. And when you're taking your plaster off your hawk, hold your trowel there and you move your hawk and slide your hawk down. You don't, what you don't do is try and use this to lift up and take the plaster off because it's just going to dribble and hang off the end. So lift your hook upside down. The plaster's not going to come off of there upside down. That's why you know you mix it as you do and it's sticky. So don't overload your hook with plaster. So now this is the first coat. We're just going to get it up on the ceiling. Let's move you up. Right, now I need to get this up because it's been a while since I mixed this. <laughs> Whenever you start filming stuff, it always takes longer than what it would by just getting on with it. So, just going to start nice, even, thin coat over here. Now 
at this point, you don't want to play with it too much. You just want to get it up there in a nice even coat. Don't worry about any lines or anything because we'll sort that out later on when it's dried a bit. And on the second coat. This is going to be a bit awkward if you've got one of these barrel rolls, or you know, a roll in the ceiling that goes down, so... Not really dealt with one of them before. Right, let's just get this... Right, now I'm just going to get on with it to get the rest of this up quickly. It's going to be alright, going to be alright. So that's the first part for now. So I don't know if you can see, but there's patches over here that are still rough, but that's fine. They'll be flattened in and sorted out with a second coat. Um, I'm just going to move it all out of here now. So I've just got a bit more room to work and do that side where you're all sitting. All right, so I like that. Let's bring it back in here quick. All right, so I'm not sure where you can see this. But, you know, there's. They're not smooth, as you can see there's probably a little, oh God, I'm trying to hold this tripod still while I'm up there. You know, there's still dinks and dents in there and, you know, a few lines, but that's all you need to do with your first coat. It's all covered nice and evenly at least. Uh, whew, my arm and shoulder are killing me. I've raised my platform up a bit higher now, so hopefully I won't be at a longer stretch yet won't hurt my arm as much. Yeah, how do you plasterers do this all day? Now, ceilings are a pain to do. Um, whenever I do ceilings, it seems to dry up quite quickly. Um, the plaster did start to go off, but that's because by the time I'd mixed it, brought it up and then doing other stuff I forgot to do, it had started to go off slightly. So the last bit was getting, uh, it was still okay to use, but it, you could feel it was starting to stiffen up. Uh, but obviously because we're slower, you know, this side is now starting to firm up and harden already. So, pretty much now what we need to do is go and mix up some more plaster. This time it's a thinner coat and a wetter mix, so it should go further. So we'll just do like a quarter of a bag this time. And then that's just basically going to give it a, like a one mil covering and fill out any of the dents. Right, so we'll get all the buckets and stuff cleared out. Not good filming with a window behind you. Uh, we'll clean these out now, wash them down. Uh, it's always important to have clean stuff. And we'll get on mixing our, our second coat. Like I say, it's gonna be a little bit, little bit thinner, a little bit wetter than the mix we used before. And then we'll come back to Give my arm five minutes rest hopefully. Now on a plaster, don't wash it down the drain or anything like that. Get as much as you can out, scoop as much as you can out and just put it in a black bag, put it in the bin. Right, recording. Right, we've got our second batch now. It's runnier than the first, but it will still hold on to the trowel. Right, here's code number two. My arm was shaking, I believe. Uh, it's a lot smoother. Still see a few little trail lines. So now we're just going to wait. That's starting. That side's starting to firm up already. Uh, this side's still quite soft. So we're just going to leave it another ten minutes. Say ten to fifteen minutes. Then we come back when that's a little bit harder. You still need it when it's soft because we're going to come back and we're going to trail over it again. We're just going to get rid of all these marks and make it smooth. Any trail marks. Any sort of, you know, little bubble mark kind of things. Little indents, we'll go over them. We'll be able to get rid of all the blemishes. Go and clean down all the tools, wash the buckets out again. Right, it's been about 20 minutes. So as every other plasterer does, we've had a cup of tea and we've come back. Should just be about right now to flatten it out. 
um, which will get rid of all any little marks, trail marks, anything like that. Um, what you don't want to do at this stage is let it go too hard because there's no way then you're going to flatten everything out. So have a cup of tea, 10-15 minutes, just check it. Um, get our trowels slightly damp so it glides over a bit better. Right, there's a little dink in there. By the time you've sort of gone over across side to side. Yeah, it's still there, but it's getting smaller. See, and eventually it will go away. So that's all we're doing now. We're just going over, pushing it in, making it flat. Uh, Close-ups are rubbish because it's one-handed, but that's it. That's going to go over, go over your whole ceiling now. And just get it all nice and flat. Nice firm pressure. And also with a wet brush, you can just brush your corners and that will get them nice and smooth to make sure there's no lumps hanging out. Now we're on to the final stage. Now we're going to give it a polish. Um, so you can either get yourself a bucket and a brush and Flick water on there, make sure it's nice and clean. But what I prefer to use is just a spray bottle. And all you need to do is just do a couple of squirts like that along the along your plaster. Just keep the trail damp as well. And now all we would do to polish it is just spray it. A nice firm pressure. Do that, it's the same as flattening it in. And that's all you do. So. If you feel it, you feel that it's so smooth now. too bad if I say so. There are a couple of patches, might need a little bit of filler, but you know, that's why you get the professionals in. Uh, but the thing is, while it's like this, you can't really tell what the finish is like, whether it's nice and smooth or not. Um, not until, once you've got a coat of paint on there, when you do your mist coat, you know, you mix your paint with like 30% water, once you get the mist coat on there, then you'll see all the little blemishes. I've just, I've just seen one of it wipe over. <laughs> but yeah, you'll see, once the paint's on there, then you'll see every imperfection. But it looks fine at the moment. And if there are any imperfections, you can easily just go over it with a bit of filler. You know, it's a DIY job. You don't do, I don't do many plastering jobs. Because it's a, it's a pain. I respect the professional plasterers out there. This is one hell of a job to do. But yeah, so we'll, I mean, we'll see what it's like when it's got some paint on it. But for now, that'll do. Um, that's taken, that's probably taken me about three and a half hours, but then, you know, setting the cameras up, you know, putting the lights on, so I don't have that light on, so I'm blinding you. 
Uh, so yeah, setting it up, recording stuff. Obviously, it takes a bit. It does take quite a bit longer when you're trying to film stuff. When we do the walls, we can make the corners nice and smooth and everything else. And when we've brushed, we've brushed the corners down just to flatten them off a bit. So there's no, uh, you don't want any lumps sticking out on your corners because when you go to plaster up to it from the wall, you're going to be hitting lumps. So just brush them along with a wet, a wet brush just to make sure your corners are nice and tight and there's no blobs of plaster hanging out. But that's it for now. Why not give plaster to go yourself? Maybe not on a ceiling. Get it done on a wall first. It's exactly the same principle. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, please comment, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, everything we all say at the end of the videos. And join me later when hopefully we'll be getting the shower in and maybe trying to finish this bathroom off finally. Ah, I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.